Ready for a guest ranch vacation like no other? Ready to fish, sail, ski and swim at the largest natural freshwater lake in the western U.S. Ready to ride horses through a private 2,000 acre wilderness and see wildlife in their natural environment. But most of all, are you ready to reconnect with family? friends and what's really important in life well partner gather up your family and friends and head to northwest montana for the vacation of your lifetime welcome to averill's flathead lake lodge in big fork montana celebrating their 75th year of exceptional hospitality in 2020 Four generations of the Averill family have welcomed guests from all over the world who come here to relax, rejuvenate, and rekindle old friendships. At Flathead Lake Lodge, there's something for every member of the family, every age group, every interest. Easily accessible from airports in Kalispell, Missoula, or Great Falls, you're never more than a day's travel to the ranch from just about anywhere in North America. It's hard to describe what a typical week is like at Flathead Lake Lodge with so much to do. Just driving up through the ranch entrance and seeing the facilities and surroundings, the anticipation builds for an adventure like you've never experienced before, and they deliver. After a great night's sleep in your warm, rustic, and welcoming cabins and a hearty breakfast in the main lodge, you can take in as much or as little as you desire, as can each member of your family. Adults can enjoy a wide range of activities, while the kids enjoy their own, all in a safe environment designed for fun, exploration, and relaxation. If you enjoy water sports, you're in Montana heaven and can relax around the pool, taking in clean, fresh mountain air and spectacular lake views. Just a few steps away, you can enjoy fishing, canoeing, kayaking, and more. Never been fly fishing? Not to worry. Experienced guides will take you to where the fish are biting and will hold clinics to familiarize you with handling a fly fishing rod. Or try your hand at water skiing. And if you've never tried it before, the ranch staff are always there with instructional help. If there's a sailor in the family, they'll enjoy setting sails on one of the historic 51-foot Q-Class racing sloops, the Cuesta and the Nor'easter. Q-boats were built in 1928 and 1929 as prototypes 
for the America's Cup Boats. The ranch also has some classic wood touring boats for pleasure sightseeing around the lake. If you're into water sports, you've found paradise. And kids of all ages enjoy the water slide on the banks of Flathead Lake. If you've come for rejuvenation and relaxation, yoga sessions on the recently added deck overlooking Flathead Lake will stimulate your mind as well as your physical well-being. If you come for the horseback riding, well, partner, you're in for a special experience like no other. As dawn breaks over the forested mountains, make your way towards the corral to see what rush hour looks like in Montana as the horses come in from their night pasture. Once in the corral, the Wranglers start grooming and saddling for the day's activities. Always get on and off from the left side of the horse. Um, that's just kind of a general rule, no reason I it, but some of them just don't really care for getting on and off on the right side, so always on the left. Um, another thing that we ask is always have a Wrangler there with you before you get on or off your horse. If it's been a while since you've been horseback riding, not to worry. The Wranglers will match you with a horse well suited to your riding ability. They know if you and your horse are a good match, you'll enjoy the riding all that much more. If your kids are a little too young for the mountain trail rides, the Wranglers will keep them busy and entertained in the enclosed arena where they can hone their riding skills and create lifelong memories. After riding, the kids can enjoy creating arts and crafts and keepsakes of their vacation. What's the best guest ranch in the entire world? This morning we just finished the kids rodeo, which is a great event uh, that we've been doing for decades. And we introduce uh, little kids right down to two years old to horseback riding and, and having a little fun in the arena. And uh, this goes way back. Our family is an old rodeo family from years. And, and uh, goes back to 1945 when my father started the ranch as a hunting fishing lodge. And fast forward, and there were several boys in the family and we got into rodeo and, and at one time started teaching rodeo schools with world champions. And uh, some of the brothers went off to become uh, in the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. Many of our guests have been coming 20, 30, 40 years. 
the longest repeat guests, George Wood, came 56 consecutive years. And uh, this week in the, in the guest crowd, we have 61 people that have been vacationing 31 years together. And there's actually four marriages that have come out of this group when the kids start coming as babies. But uh, there's always lots of new guests too, and they love the, the return guests being so open to introducing them to how the ranch works. And they take a pride in the place, like it's their place. It's our home, so we treat it just like our home. And when the guests are here, we treat them just like you'd have a house guest for dinner. And uh, they feel very much a part of the place. Uh, when they check in, we tell them we really don't have any rules here other than if you take a wine glass, be sure to bring it back, otherwise we'll run out of wine glasses by the end of the week. And really that's about our only rule. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of an uh, open ranch where they can come and do what they please. Uh, we like not to embarrass anybody. Many people are out of their comfort zone and that today's generation doesn't uh, have the background in, in horsemanship, so it's, uh, it's all new to them. And we make that very easy and comfortable. And, uh, a lot of the type A dads that think a horse vacation isn't for them, they want to go to the beach and mom wants to go to the horses, they'll arrive at the ranch because we're located on a large lake with lots of water. And, and we have two old historic sailboats, cue boats from 1928 and 29 that we've restored. And it, it makes a combination of water sports with horses. But once those type A dads get here, they go, well, wow, these horses are pretty fun. Try to get this apple, he's a steer down here. That's it, boys. Hurry, the other side is going to go around you. Hurry, 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 hurry. Scream, just like that, now stop. And by the end of the week, the dad is very much into the horses and the mom's on the sailboat. So it, it's a great balance. Uh, we always have lots of teenagers and children. And uh, I think the teenagers have the most fun. The writing is spectacular with exceptional views. Your entire family will enjoy the ride through the 750 acre elk preserve where you're likely to see herds of magnificent elk and local wildlife. You'll never have to worry about where you're going to have meals on this vacation as three hearty meals are served daily with snacks and drinks always available. The chefs and kitchen staff delight in dazzling the guests with meals they prepared. You can dine in the lodge or enjoy your meals by the lake. The choice is yours. One of the favorite activities during the week is the breakfast ride. You'll trail ride your horse or be transported by vehicle to the cook site where the cooks are preparing a Montana breakfast you won't soon forget. Food, family, friends, cowboy coffee, and a morning campfire surrounded by nature. Now, I gotta ask you, does it get any better than this? 
If your family would like to do some target shooting, you'll receive professional instruction and guidance in the proper handling of firearms on a safe and monitored target range. has been operating. The Averill family and their staff have been major supporters of our military and those who serve our country. This particular week, the ranch was honored to host three service members who will be serving on the SSN Montana, a Virginia-class nuclear-powered fast attack submarine. SSN 794 is expected to be christened in late spring of 2020 and commissioned into the Navy fleet in mid-2021. Another initiative, headed and founded by Doug Averill, is the Paladin Conservancy, created to provide today's tech-savvy youth with practical skills and hands-on learning so that someday they will share the Western legacy with their children. Our family and myself, we love kids. Uh, we've actually set up a new farm as a charitable foundation to teach children's youth education for farming, ranching, and how to work with their hands and learn life skills to match their tech skills. With the theme of preserving the Old West, the emphasis is on youth education in farming, livestock, rodeo and teaching western life skills that are needed for success in a ranching operation. Well, the cattle prowl and the coyotes howl out on the great divide. Did we mention dinner cookouts? One of the ranch's most memorable evening cookouts is the steak fry in the Elk Preserve. And there are two ways to get there. You can ride up on your horse to the cookout site or arrive on one of the ranch's fire engines. Some of the boys have gone away, but they will be back soon. When it's a roundup time, way out west, when the cactus is in bloom. Yo, little old lady, yo, little old tea. Daylight comes and the cowhands yell, they call out every man. Roll my saddle on the old cow horse, drink my coffee from a can. The sun goes down on the cattle trail, and I'm a gazing at the moon. When it's roundup time, way out west, when the cactus is in bloom. The old little old lady, the old little old tea. Towel out on the great divide. I never done no wrong, just to sing and the song is down the trail I ride. The rattlesnakes rattle and the prairie dogs, you can hear their mournful tunes when it's around up time. The air is filled with the aroma of thick steaks slowly cooking over an enormous fire pit. Guests can fill their plates and be serenaded by the sounds of cowboy singer Gene Gordner who has been entertaining guests at the ranch for more than a decade with new songs, and many you'll remember from your own childhood. After dinner, it's an excellent time for families to have a photo taken, freezing this special memory and time for all eternity. Great food, great hospitality, 
spectacular surroundings, rekindling family ties, building new friendships, and creating lasting memories. Those are the important things in life, and it's all found at Flathead Lake Lodge. And my friends, the fun doesn't end after dinner. Make your way to the stable for the always exciting house races, where guests can pick their favorites to win, place, or show in one of the most exciting race competitions this side of the Mississippi. After the mouse races, a live band will get your feet moving to all the country western hits you remember. Now, when was the last time you danced with your kids? These are memories that will last a lifetime, and your kids, they're going to remember these special moments too. Flathead Lake Lodge every single year and have every intention of coming back for the rest of my life. I'm hoping another 20 years or more. Um, I, it, it, it is just that, it's coming back to something that I have absolutely cherished for these many years because of the Averills, because of the staff, because of the open freedom and respect that this watch this all these people kind of show us the guests I mean, we're we're literally like no other resort or vacation or camp that I've ever been to um, treated truly with um, a, the, the most the greatest desire to kind of help us have a wonderful time the only way to help people have a really wonderful time I think is to have them feel like they're part of it they're, they remember our names. They, by the end of the week, we know all the staff first name basis, and they're and we kid with them and we play with them. We don't go to any hotel or any resort and have that. They're, in those kinds of places, those folks are just serving us. And here, we're, we're all serving each other. And we're bringing them into our universe. We're bringing them into the the cornhole tournament or, or into the, the breakfast ride or um, they let us do the cooking of the bacon and the cooking of the, um, the, uh, the scrambled eggs or and where else in the middle of the night if you're really hungry can you go right on into the kitchen and make yourself nachos as long as we don't disturb what's for breakfast the next morning that's just unheard of it is truly the absolute love that I feel ever seen time coming um, particularly Doug and Maureen and, and their kids. I was here before their kids were born, and I've seen them grow up. We've all grown up here, all my, our, our gang. We've grown up here together, and we come together outside of Flathead Lake Lodge because of Flathead Lake Lodge. So it's just, uh, I get it. I, I, it's a visceral 
thrill and, and, and deep love that I feel whenever I come here and, and I wouldn't miss that for the world. And I could never find it anywhere else. I'm just quite certain of that. I could not. And I don't want to try to look. This is it. So, that's my place. And if you're fortunate enough to book your adventure the week of July 4th, you're in for a real treat. The town of Big Fork swells many times its normal size for one of the most incredible and memorable July 4th parades and celebrations found anywhere. Guests can spend the morning of Independence Day decorating the ranch fire engines, loading them with treats to toss to the crowd, and making sure the water cannon is loaded. This is a parade like no other. Winding through the historic streets of Big Fork as people from all over Montana and beyond turn out for the events. It's water warfare in the streets of Big Fork, and sometimes the town's folks are ready to shoot back. <laughs> Does it get any better than this? We'll try. As the sun sets and paints another golden Montana sky, the fireworks begin over the lake as hundreds of boats sit off the shoreline to witness a fireworks display like you've never seen before. And the week of July 4th is also Rodeo Week, as the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association and the Big Fork Rodeo Committee present the Big Fork Montana Summer Pro Rodeo, where the professionals compete for top prize money. If you enjoy top-notch rodeo competition, this is one you don't want to miss.
If you're ready to disconnect from that daily digital lifestyle, if you're ready to enjoy a wide range of water sports on glacier-carved lakes, if you're ready for exceptional horseback riding adventures where wildlife share their habitat with guests from around the world, if you're ready for exceptional hospitality and the opportunity to make memories that will last a lifetime, well, Gather up your family and friends and make your way to Big Fork, Montana to Flathead Lake Lodge. We'll see you at the corral. Hey folks, what's the best gas ranch in the entire world? There are no rules here. Yeah. I mean, zero. <laughs> yeah. There are no rules. Tucked away in the beautiful and unspoiled San Juan Mountains of Southeast Colorado in the Rio Grande National Forest, where the Caneos River flows, providing some of the most exceptional fishing anywhere, lies Rainbow Trout Ranch. First settled by the Spanish in the 1600s, their legacy remains even today. In the 1870s, gold and silver were discovered in the region, leading to the rapid growth of mining towns in the area. But by the 1900s, mining exploration moved on and the towns were abandoned, but were soon replaced by fishing camps as the area became recognized for its exceptional fishing. In the 1920s, the main lodge at the ranch was being constructed, an enormous 18,000 square foot structure, which quickly became the showplace of the Rockies and remains so today. It is said that not a single nail was used, but rather wooden pegs and dowels given it its structural integrity. Whether you're a family, couple, or individual, you'll find Rainbow Trout Ranch to be an exceptional destination and transformative experience. The staff are hand-selected for their professionalism and can-do attitude and come to the ranch from Maine to California and everywhere in between.
At Rainbow Trout Ranch, you can disconnect from that digital lifestyle and get in touch with what's really important in life. Like friends and family. Spectacular views. Wildlife, the peace and serenity that surrounds you. It's an experience that touches all your senses and will have you coming back for more. For over two decades, the Van Berkham family have welcomed guests from around the world to share their lives and lifestyle in an environment only a guest ranch experience can offer. You might arrive as a new guest, but you will leave this family and be forever a part of its long history. Generations of families have kept returning here year after year. Kids who came here with their family now return with their own children or even grandchildren to experience all that the ranch has to offer. I feel like this is a very, very special place. It brings families together. It's kind of magical because you're um, away from the outside worries and, and what's going on in the outside world. Um, it brings families together, you eat together, you play games together, um, you interact with other people from other walks of life, from other countries, and you just, you feel like um, family. It's just a very, very special place in my heart. The charm, the rusticness of the cabins, but they've kept it like that. It's not commercialized. You just feel like you're at home every day. You wake up and you, you, you may not have any idea what you're gonna do that day, and it just turns out to be the most wonderful day you've ever had. I loved it as a child. I grew up coming here. And every summer we look forward to this vacation. We, we met friends that we would uh, meet again the next year and the next year and the next year. And so you had friendships that you, that you made along the way. I brought my children. We brought our children as they grew up. Um, and and our they're bringing their children now. Yeah. So now our grandchildren are a part of it. And um, it's just been uh, a part of my life, I think. What's a week at Rainbow Trout Ranch like? We're glad you asked. Because there's something for every age group and every member of the family to enjoy. Never learned to fly fish? The friendly guides hold casting clinics, so you'll be fishing like a pro in no time. love fishing, the guides at Rainbow Trout Ranch will show you the best spots to snag the big ones. Whether it's on the Caneos River, a tributary of the legendary Rio Grande flowing directly through the ranch, or other streams and lakes in the area.
you'll quickly see why they're guest rated at one of the top five fly fishing ranches in the country. You know, one of the things I like to think about, I think I have the greatest job in the world because um, I kind of like to live in the past and that's what a dude ranch is. It's uh, taking them back to what life would have been like uh, 50, 60 years ago and maybe even longer than that. And uh, <clears throat> so I, I think that's a wonderful thing, a heritage that uh, when, when I'm on the hayride, I remind kids of what it was like to come out here with a horse and wagon, what it was like being out here where there were no bridges across rivers, uh, what it was like when there were no fences and all the cattle ran together and how important branding was and that kind of thing. He lives in the snow at 40 below or Malibu by the sea, which is very true by the way, they're everywhere. Now I'm just an old cow puncher, love to listen to his tune. Sing along with me now, one, two, three. Hey, hey, howdy, hey. hey! Yell it nice and loud and tall and proud! Hey, hey howdy, hey! hey. Yeah. So I think that's uh, that's one of the uh, real joys. And then I think I have I have uh, in my heart uh, something that I, I want want kids to uh, to be able to uh, read about Western adventure. I grew up reading about Western Adventure, and of course, when I grew up, we could listen to the radio and TV shows that were all about cowboys. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. It is a, a, a wonderful place for uh, families because it is uh, so many different activities for uh, so many different kinds of people. I think, uh, I think that's uh, uh, something that distinguishes us uh, you don't have to watch your kids every moment. I'll never forget one little boy said, Oh, Doug, this is way better than Disneyland because here the ride lasts for hours instead of minutes. I mean, that's a, that's a line we ought to coin. <laughs> so it's a great line. And then maybe one of the most satisfying things to watch is uh, teenagers who are not really wanting to go on vacation with mom and dad. and you can kind of see them come in with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. And it is fun to see, uh, after the week's over, they come and shake your hand and say, oh, this was a great week. And they can find out you can, you can have a lot of fun without having a device in your hand. And uh, there's a lot of things to do that uh, uh, last night, um, the teenagers played a rousing game of capture the flag. I mean, I mean they were into it, it was, it was fun. They came in sweaty and muddy, and I mean, it was a, it was a great night. If you've come for the incredible horseback riding experience, start your week off by watching the horses come in from their night pasture the sun starts to break over the surrounding mountain ridges.
as many times as you might see the horses come in and across the bridge, it never gets old. Once the horses report to the corral, the Wranglers get busy grooming and saddling the horses for the day's trail rides. If it's been a while since you've been on a horse or you're a novice rider, not to worry. The experienced wranglers will carefully match you up with a horse well suited to your riding abilities. For they know, if you and your horse are a good match, you'll enjoy the week's trail riding all that much more. But first, you'll receive a thorough and comprehensive safety orientation where you can learn how horses think and how to effectively communicate with them while riding. That, that doesn't exist. Any horse, even the oldest, quietest, most half-dead horse can still react in a way you don't expect, and they are animals. Um, when you figure out, folks, we have three variables here. All right, um, I think we've covered most of what I need to cover. We're in the Rocky Mountains here. You do need to take your weight to the incline when you're climbing or coming downhill. If you're going uphill, lean forward, lean into the incline. Going downhill, lean back just a little bit, lean into the incline. So always take your weight to the incline, forward or back, okay? When you do that, keep your feet forward, don't bring them back. Horses hate your feet back in their flanks. Not a good plan. Do we have any English riders here? We do have a few, so, so I'll, I'll use the English thing too. English riding is great. I grew up riding English. It teaches you a great seat. But there are a few things that don't translate as well into Western riding, so we'll talk about that. We take our riding very seriously here at the ranch, and we want everybody to have a good experience, whether they're a total beginner or somebody very advanced. We actually get a lot of people here who experienced horsemen and women in their own right, as well as people who've never even been on a horse before. We do try and accommodate to every level and every ability. Um, one of the hardest things we do is sit down and match the people with their horses because we don't really, unless they're returned, and we do have a lot of returns, um, we don't know the people but we know our horses well and usually because we have such a great herd it works out. Now and again if it's not a good match we're happy to change out but because we have great wranglers who we take the time to really train because we really are careful about what horses we keep and what horses we, we don't keep and also because we do a serious in-depth orientation on Mondays for everybody. Um, we just tend to have a very safe program. We're very safety conscious without being over the top. And speaking of writing, the writing is spectacular. Yeah. You'll cross streams.
right through the Aspen Cathedral. See abundant wildlife. And explore the beautiful mountains of southeastern Colorado. As Jane said, the riding program is uh, obviously what people come to Rainbow Trout Ranch for specifically. Our fishing is great, but the riding is what it's all about. And uh, we have various levels of riding, so people from the beginning people who have never ridden a horse to those like she said who are advanced uh, all have the chance to go out and do what they like to do trotting and loping great big stands of aspens and we get the great vistas of all the mountains with some snow capped mountains yet at this time of year even so the the riding program has is very diverse uh, there's you can stay kind of flat in the river bottoms. You can ride high up in the 11,000 feet in the mountains, and uh, so there's a little something for everybody for sure. And we definitely do the trotting and loping for those that want to. We'll always do a mosey ride, which is strictly walking. Um, always accommodate that, but lots of people would like to do the trotting and loping, and we do have plenty of that as well. Now, I've got to ask you, does it get any better than this? get back to the ranch, you can settle back into warm and welcoming accommodations where every window gives you an open window to the nature surrounding you. And on a cool, crisp night, you can warm your boots by a glowing fire. You'll never hear your kids say I'm bored at the ranch, as the staff will keep them busy with activities they probably have never done before. One evening, it may be a hayride around the ranch with the horsepower provided by the ranch draft horses. The pool and lunch cookouts are always a hit with the kids of any age group.
try your hand at trap shooting, knocking clay pigeons out of the sky. Remember to shoot archery targets. And everyone loves the evening square dances. The staff will teach you the basic steps and, well, the rest is up to you. One evening, you can sit around a roaring fire in the lodge and listen to old western songs provided by professional cowboy entertainers. There's a lot of good cowboy songs, and some of them are 100 years old, some are 50 years old, some are 80 years old. Some of the very best ones are written in the 40s and the 30s, and they were written for the silver screen. He wrote this song sometime in the 30s. But it never got recorded until 1946, and the first person ever recorded was Burl Ives. But what's really special about Rainbow Trout Ranch? Guests share their heartfelt feelings on what's special to them about the ranch. I love this ranch because it's family oriented. You know, we've been coming here for 17 years. This is our seventh visit. And we brought our kids and our grandkids and it's never a disappointment. Uh, we love it all, we love it all, we, uh, we love the riding, didn't really ride too much before we came, uh, but learned to ride here and uh, the fishing's fantastic, uh, but I guess mainly it's the, the fact that you know there's something for everyone, the kids just have such a laugh, uh, they muck about with the Van Burke and kids and, uh, and all the other uh, guest children and uh, it's just a really special family, family holiday. Uh, they want to keep coming back every year, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Every each time we sort of think, well, should we come back to RTR? There's all these amazing ranches that we could go to in the in the US, but you know we love it, absolutely love it. And the the um, I think that it sort of starts with Jane and David and Doug and Linda for us, really. I mean, the way that they sort of set it all out and the uh, the, the tone and the, the wranglers can't do enough for you. Uh, everyone so sort of upbeat and smiley and just wanting to make a really sort of special time. And, you know that it doesn't kind of run itself, it, you know, there's a hell of a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes, but, you know, it's just a wonderful, relaxing, happy, joyful, happy time. That's why we keep coming back. Yeah. You feel like you're coming home, and the more we come back, the more I feel like we're coming home to our family, which is lovely. And the kids, the kids just love coming back. And They keep in touch during the year they keep now. In touch during the year. So it's a, it's a very special place for us, and I think it's lovely that the kids have had that growing up that is so different from our lifestyle at home. It's so different from yeah. anything we do at home. And yeah. to come back to this little corner of Colorado um, is very special. And it's the ultimate family adventure vacation. I mean, it's a chance for people who come from suburban areas who this is, we've been told, you know, the first time their kid's actually been able to run by himself free without mom and dad helicoptering over top of them and wondering if they're going to be okay. You know, they know they're going to go off with these other kids and play and have, you know, outdoor adventure and not worry about their safety and, and just the concerns they deal with in everyday life. And so it's great because every family member can do what they want to do. If riding's not their thing, they can go fishing or hiking or sit around the porch and just enjoy the afternoon. You know, there's, you don't have to sit there and 
go around Disney and, and take, stand by the ride while they're doing the ride, you can go off and have the exact same vacation your children are having and have a great time. Yeah, it's really about family and, and really the business that we're in is making memories. Um, that, that's what we're, that's really what our business is. And that's why so many people come back because they have a great experience. They love the staff, they love, the, they love everything about the place, but it's really about making memories. If you're ready to disconnect from your daily digital lifestyle, if you're ready to reconnect with family, friends, natural beauty, horses, and the really meaningful things in life. If you're ready to ride the mountains, fish clear water streams, and have the experience of a lifetime that'll keep you coming back year after year, well then, round up your friends and family and head to Southeastern Colorado for the experience of a lifetime. for the experience of a lifetime at Rainbow Trout Ranch. We'll see you at the corral. Ready for a genuine Western adventure in one of the most beautiful regions of North America, where you're surrounded by mountains and natural land formations that have stood as sentinels for millions of years, where you're surrounded by wildlife and incredible natural beauty. Ready for a unique horseback riding experience like no other, where you and your horse explore mountains and canyons few people have seen or set foot on?
Ready for exceptional accommodations, hospitality, and cuisine that will create lifelong memories? Well then, you need to create your next adventure at the Hideout Lodge and Guest Ranch in Shell, Wyoming, all in the shadows of the Bighorn Mountains. What sets the hideout apart from other ranches is that there's an ingrained culture of caring. Everyone, from the owners, management, staff, wranglers, the kitchen staff, and housekeeping, make it their personal mission to care that your experience will be the best you've ever had anywhere. On Sunday afternoon when guests arrive to the hideout, um, myself and Melanie, who helps us in the office, are the first people that guests will see. And um, they also spend a lot of time communicating with us prior to their arrival, sending in their information and emailing questions. So it's really nice for guests to be able to um, put a face to the names that they've been communicating with for sometimes more than a year. Um, because of our small numbers, we do book up far in advance. Sometimes, some weeks book um, nearly a, or more than a year in advance, with most weeks booking about six to nine months in advance. So we formed a relationship via email and telephone with a lot of our guests prior to their arrival. And so it's nice to meet them and put, a, put faces to names. Um, so we have a pretty sizable range operation that's separate from the hideout. With the, on the hideout we manage about, uh, we farm about 350 acres. Um, and then we have the, the cattle operation, the ranch, the ranch operation, and we do uh, quite a bit of the ranch work. What's the best guest ranch in the whole universe? Hi We try very hard to um, gather all the information that the guests send us and then we get it out to the barn, the kitchen, and the housekeeping team so that the, all the departments are ready for the guests. They have all of their writing information, their dietary information, so when guests come in they already feel taken care of. Um, we know a little bit about their background with their writing abilities, uh, if they have any dietary issues, the kitchen's prepared for that. So on Sunday evening when they come in for their first meal, um, everything's taken care of. When they go down to the barn on Monday morning, they have a good horse for them that the barn picks out. And um, they just feel all week like they're taken care of. Melanie and I work really hard if there are any issues with it, whether it's in the cabin or anything that's going on to get that information out to the department so we can fix it. Whether it's a maintenance issue, um, something the barn needs to know, housekeeping needs to know, we work really hard. We like to think of ourselves as sort of the, um, the nerve center of the ranch where we gather the information and then we send it out. Um, so we try really hard to take care of the guests while they're here. We want them to leave with um, feeling like they've had the vacation of a lifetime. Like they've had a week where they haven't had a care in the world, where they've been able to see beautiful scenery, ride on great horses, um, participate in cattle work if they want to do that, stay in lovely accommodations, and that it all seems effortless. And we like all the work that goes into their vacation to be unseen, um, and so the guests don't have to worry about a thing when they're here. Well-seasoned travelers from all over the world have come to Wyoming to experience the hideout's passion for excellence and caring in everything they do. The hideout is home to over 130 horses, offering a premium riding experience for their guests, and 650,000 unspoiled and scenic acres to ride and explore. Each week they provide an intimate and personal experience to approximately 25 guests. Everything at the hideout has a feeling of both quality, pride, and professionalism.
The accommodations and amenities throughout the ranch are exceptionally comfortable and welcoming. And the cuisine is exceptional. The kitchen staff will dazzle your palate and surprise you with exceptional meals throughout the day. It's the exceptional attributes in everything at the hideout that keep guests coming from all over the world time and time again. I think the number one takeaway that I would like guests to feel when they dine at the hideout is that they know how much we really care that they have an enjoyable meal uh, that's a little bit healthy, that's filling, that's beautiful, and that they know how much we want to take care of them, to make sure that um, they have the type of food that they want to eat. If they have a, an allergy or um, a dislike, we're going to make note of that. Our servers remember our guests' names and whether they like uh, tea with milk or black coffee. We want guests to um, have a, f a sense of community when they come to the table, that uh, food is recognizable, enjoyable, worth talking about. Uh, the hideout is a really, really special place. I came here as a guest for three years with my sister and always knew from day one that I would eventually want to be working here. Uh, I sold my catering business to become a wrangler for a season and was fortunate enough to be asked to be the executive chef the next season. So uh, once you come to the hideout, it's really hard to let it go. A full day of adventure at the hideout starts with the horses coming in from the night pastures, reporting for grooming and saddling. The tack room at the stable, where you'll start your riding orientation and adventure, is impeccably maintained. The fleet of eight trucks and trailers, to take you out on exceptional trails, are cleaned at the end of each ride, so guests won't ever find dusty floor mats in the morning. The hideout knows if you know more about riding, the horse's personality, and how people and horses interact, the more you'll enjoy the trail experience. Their goal is to help guests become better riders. And so they provide a thorough safety orientation, riding instruction, and weekly clinics. The hideout is also deeply involved in adopting wild mustangs. Contrary to many who see the wild mustangs as a problem in land management, 
The hideout has embraced wild horses as an opportunity. The hideout has approximately 30 Mustangs that they have adopted, trained, and turned into productive trail horses that guests can experience and enjoy. Tom Bircher talks about the riding program at the hideout. So here at the hideout, I'm, uh, we have a very, very unique um, uh, riding capability. Most of our rides are going to take place away from the lodge, so we trailer out to nearly all of our rides. We have one or two rides that we do right here around the barn, but everything else we're going to trailer out. When we trailer out, the reason we trailer out is because we have the availability of 600,000 acres. In the 600,000 acres, we can be in the high desert down here at about 4,200 feet. Um, uh, we have lots of ups and downs, lots of gullies, lots of red cliffs. And if you go on every one of these rides, it's not going to be like the ride that you did before. And down here in the valley, even if we have guests that have been here 20 some odd times, we can always take them someplace different. Now, we have our basic rides. We have our Sedona. And you say, why do we have a Sedona? It's, we're not in Arizona, we're in Wyoming. Well, we have a ride and it's all red rocks. We have a ride that we call the Five Fingers. So if you're looking at the Bighorn Mountains from the lodge windows, you can see what looks like Five Fingers on the mountain. And to the left of the Five Fingers, we have the W, which you can ride a canyon up into the Bighorn Mountains. Behind us, we have a ride we call a Devil's Leap. Um, uh, and you ride out and it's an 800 foot or so drop off of a cliff. No, no, we don't jump off of that when we go riding. So the rides are all varied terrain. We have White Creek Canyon, which is a really, really nice ride. You're going into the mouth of a canyon. It's about 14 miles long. You're going to go up in there about a mile. We can ride from the bottom, and we can also ride from the top. We have Trapper Creek Canyon, which is um, uh, part of our owner's um, uh, property, which is very, very trees and waters running. You're going to cross the water 13 times. And I could go on and on and on about the rides down here in the valley because we can change them up by just 500, 600 yards, and it's not going to look like the same the ride that you did before. Here at the hideout, it's all about riding and giving you the best riding holiday you can have. And so if you um, uh, come here, you're going to see such a wild and very terrain. We see moose, we see elk, we see mule deer, antelope, and of course cattle. We see a lot of cattle because we have a lot of cattle around. I came here as a guest and I've ridden in lots of different places in the world and this was by far the truly one of the most unique places I've ever ridden. So if you come here, you're going to have a unique experience. After a hearty breakfast, guests and their horses will trailer out for the day's scenic rides. helping neighboring ranchers moving cattle to new pastures, or play with cattle in the arena and ranch pastures. You, your horse, 
enjoying this western riding paradise, all on 650,000 acres of pure freedom and natural beauty. One of the favorite places for a lunch break on the trail is the outlook known as The Rock, where you can enjoy a packed lunch and see one of the most beautiful panoramas of the Bighorn Mountains you will find anywhere. They even offer special natural horsemanship riding and training weeks held at the beautiful Trapper Creek Ranch facility. Limited by design to four guests weekly, to be totally immersed in improving their horsemanship and understanding natural horsemanship methods, which is somewhat unique among guest ranches. I moved here 13 years ago and I was a total novice rider. I was afraid of horses because I knew enough to know that I wasn't in control. That's why it was very scary to me. Also, the, the, the terrain here is pretty intimidating because I come from Belgium where everything is flat, so I couldn't take those hills and, and ledges. Um, but then I really started to go to the barn the first year, like two days a week, and second year, three days a week. And then I started out, smart decision, I started out with a really old 18-year-old horse that gave me confidence, that gave me a lot of trust. And also people here are in America, they are very nice. They say like, take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. People are very supporting. In Belgium it was like, he is down. <laughs> so that you kind of, you're not in the thinking mode anymore. And uh, I saw a lot of good riders when I rode here on the ranch with the Wranglers and the Cowboys. And I kind of started to copy them. But then when I turned 50, I really wanted to learn more about horses. And that's when I did some clinics with Amy Bowers and with Farrah Green. And I learned online, um, liberty and bridleless riding. And I thought, why would you need to learn how to ride bridleless? Because it makes you a better rider. Because so many people uh, ride only with the reins instead of with their body. And the reins is the last aid. So that's what that taught me. And then all the groundwork and especially the liberty work, it gives you such a better connection with your horse because they're so tuned in to you that a little, they react to that. So yeah, so it's, uh, it's not that I was talented at all. I just wanted to learn it. So if there's a will and you have a good teacher, anybody can do that. So when guests would uh, really uh, like to do a little bit more of hands-on groundwork with me, that's always a possibility. Um, I can teach them all the basics of groundwork with my horses that already know. So it's a big advantage because, you know, if you ask almost correctly with horses that know, you will get the correct results. And then when you go home with, and you want to play with your horses, you kind of know what you're looking for. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And then in the end, they can just a little bit at liberty with my horses and people really enjoy that like just to run free with a horse that stays with you yeah it's so much fun after a full day of riding adventures you'll head back to the ranch in time for the evening happy hour in the main lodge the wranglers take photos during the rides playing with cattle and other activities and everyone can see photos from everyone's ride on the big tv screen while enjoying a wide selection of drinks and exceptional hors d'oeuvres.
And when you hear the bell ring, it's time to adjourn to the dining room, where you'll be dazzled by what the chef and the kitchen staff have prepared for the guests. I think one of the reasons um, that people come back to the Hyrot is really because we live strongly on our passionately and care very much about uh, a culture of excellence. I think that no matter what you do, uh, whether it's the horses or whether it's the team, uh, any team in the barn, in the kitchen, in housekeeping, in maintenance, if you look at the lawns here, uh, everybody needs to care and everybody needs to, in, in their each, each in their department and with their people, they need to really strive for, for excellence. We, we're, uh, we have a culture of real people, professionals who, who care, uh, who, who deeply care. And, 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 and I think it's one of the reasons that guests come back, because the, honestly there are not that many places that really care so deeply. And we do it very authentically, we do it because, because we love to do, we really love what we, what we, uh, we love what we do. Make sure that people have like best ever experience, that they learn something, and that they see we value things around us also that we're, we want to show things. So, so yeah, our culture is really important for us. I think, I think for me the, the speciality of what really stands out with the Hydos is that when we were learning to ride horses, our teachers really pushed the value of taking care of your horse, and, um, which we later learned was what the Hydo call is authentic horsemanship, and it's really the repeat of that uh, learning experience and reinforcement of that back in the Hydo. So to me it's the, the quality of the horses, the, the ability of the rider to match the, the horse with the rider um, and the horses are absolutely wonderful. Um, I, every single horse they've given me, I've said when Tom says how was the horse, it was perfect. <laughs> I have never had a bad horse here. Um, so I think the reinforcement of authentic horsemanship, uh, the quality of the horses, the quality of the rides, the scenery, the food, the care and attention that everybody lavishes on us, um, you can't not come back here. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, yeah, basically for us it's a very easy win. So we spend, we don't have our own horses in Holland, um, we take lessons twice a week trying to improve ourselves, but when we come back here, everything is reinforced. We, we ride as we've been taught, everything is falls perfectly in place. And I think added to that is the quality of the wranglers who um, are very dedicated to the happiness of the, and making sure that the guests have a good time, but also it's, it's clearly safety first. And those young people are leaders and we follow them because we know what they're doing, what they're asking us to do. They explain what they want from us um, and what they don't want from us, and we have to follow that. It's clear. Yeah, but it's safety and fun first. Yeah, it's, yeah. For it's us, it's <laughs> we see the fun first; they see the safety first. It's, and I uh, think we also we were so pleased that we read on the website before we came here that it, it's not nose to tail riding. So we go out into the most beautiful landscapes here, and um, if. If we want to follow a group of horses, we can a line of horses, we can do that, but we can also spread out and have our own adventure as long as we're safe and we follow instructions, and it's, it's beautiful. Plus, the, all of the cabins, everything is neat here, the grounds are neat and clean. Yes, the cabins are comfortable as well as neat and clean. And yeah, in Europe, that's very often very important, is that everything is neat and clean, and, and that's what we find here as well. Yeah, I mean, we come from Holland, it's a good few miles away, um, but it's, uh, yeah, we look forward to this every single, every single year. Yes. Sometimes we come twice a year, um, and we just can't wait for the weeks to tip by uh, yeah. to come back to the hideout. It's uh, actually, yeah, I think a quite unique experience, certainly for us. Um, yeah. But riding the open range isn't the only activity you can enjoy at the hideout.
break out a fly rod, and enjoy fishing the beautiful clear water streams of Wyoming, and reel in the cutthroat trout, brown trout, and rainbows. Enjoy skeet shooting on the manicured skeet range with high quality shooting equipment. Or relax in the hot tub with friends and share stories on your exceptional experiences throughout the day. Yeah! And new is the 60 by 18 foot heated lap pool with panoramic views to infinity. So uh, at the High Note, we also we embrace diversity as an asset, uh, not for the sake of diversity, but uh, when it is an asset. So uh, we have quarter horses and we have uh, uh, 30 Mustangs also, so there's a little diversity in our horse herd. Uh, if you look at the background of our staff, there's a lot of diversity there, big diversity of terrain. And then uh, we have actually a really uh, large number percentage of our guests that actually come from all over the world. So uh, about 40% of our, our clientele is, uh, is worldwide. Uh, from, that's from all countries in Europe to, uh, to Latin America, to, the, to Israel, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. And they're, uh, they're all people that actually go on riding vacations. They might come to the US uh, for one, one year and the next year they might go to Mongolia ride horses or they might go to, um, to Kyrgyzstan to ride horses or, or to, uh, to Botswana to ride with, uh, with lions and, and giraffes and all that. So it really brings uh, an incredible diversity uh, to the ranch and, and all our guests, European guests, uh, international guests, uh, American guests, they really like the whole melting pot. I think the hideout hospitality is second to none. Um, Tom and Marin, they are so welcoming. Um, the food is amazing, the accommodation is unbelievable, the setting is fantastic. Um, what more could you ask for? It's unbelievable. Come and check it out. So we'd like to believe, although I'm a foreigner, I'm, I'm a Belgian born in Africa, we like to believe that uh, this is really the melting pot, the most American ranch of ranches, because it's the real melting pot where all, all the people from all over the world come together. Uh, they're all interested in riding and it adds again to the, to the learning that we have because a lot of these people are really great riders with different riding backgrounds, they share a passion and, uh, and we learn a lot from them also. Because if you talk to somebody that, that rides in, uh, in Botswana or guides tours there uh, where you have to go very fast uh, and where there are lions around, that's a little bit of a different experience than, than herding cattle of course. Or ride a, a Mongolian horse that you have to uh, that you can't stop, that you have to turn in circles of one mile before they stop. So it's it's it's, it's really fun to uh, to listen to people and and we get like uh, instructors from all over the world to say can I can we come and exchange our notes and all that. So it, it really adds to the learning and the guests really we uh, we enjoy it. We enjoy it also. Yeah. It's been an amazing experience and there's a great team of you know wranglers and staff members that are willing to, willing to look after you and help you out and help you improve throughout the week. So I think their guidance and uh, they've kind of really let me come into my own and uh, yeah just the all round experience of um, horsemanship has been fantastic. The hideout is a complete experience for the soul and senses where everyone from the owners, wranglers, staff, and housekeeping share a passion for excellence and caring. It's the caring environment for the guest experience that sets the hideout apart from other destinations that may offer guest ranch activities. There is simply no place on earth like it when it comes to a genuine guest ranch experience where the passion for caring is ingrained in everything they do.
I think a lot of guests come here. It's not a nose to tail riding, and that's one thing that everybody goes for. There's a lot of diversity in the scenery. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of good riding out here. Something that everybody loves is no nose to tail. You get to go out, you do looping, trotting, walking, you name it. And then we also offer a fishing ride. That's where we drive up on the mountain. Um, we'll ride out for about 45 minutes, and then we take a fly fishing guide along. He takes you fishing for the rest of the day. Um, you're fishing probably three or four hours and then you ride back to the trailers. Um, it's a very nice mountain stream up there. You catch a lot of brookies. Um, for lunch, we usually catch a couple. We'll fry them up over the campfire and have that for lunch. And then we'll also take lunch along for the guests. Uh, it's a really great time. It's a lot colder up there. Fish are always biting. It's, it's a good time. So something that you, you'll hear over and over again is culture. So at the hideout, we really value the culture that we have here. Everybody works well together. We work as a team, and even if it's your first year, you'll feel valued as an employee. Everybody's input matters, and it's that with that type of culture that I think you see the staff coming back, and back year after year. You know, a lot of the return guests that we get, we ask them all the time, you know, what keeps you coming back? And so. We get a few variable answers, but the most part is that they love the fact that it's so horse oriented, but they love the staff and the people. They know what they're getting here. Everything can be different on the rides and stuff because we always change that up a little bit, but you get wonderful horses that are well trained. You have great equipment, you have great staff that work here, and there's a lot of attention to detail and they really appreciate that. I think what brings people here to the hideout for the first time is the fact that this is an authentic ranch. You're out in the real west and um, it's a smaller group so you're not, you know, one of a million when you're here for a week. It's a nice intimate setting and I think the reason that people continue to come back for year after year is because of the atmosphere and you feel like family when you're here and that's my favorite part of it too but I think people feel like they're coming home when they come back every year. I think that guests come to the hideout for many different reasons. The people here are fantastic. Um, all the staff works really hard to ensure that people have the best vacation possible. I also think that they come for the quality of horsemanship that we do here at the hideout. The horses are one of the most valued members of the team here and I think that people really recognize that and appreciate it. And then I think that they come for the natural beauty of the place here. I mean, there's no place like this part of Wyoming, no place else in the world. It's so beautiful and the rides are unparalleled. If you're ready for an experience like no other, If you're ready to ride the range and Bighorn Mountains like you were born in the saddle, on some of the most beautiful landscapes you'll find anywhere. If you're ready to fish clear streams and hook into the big ones that memories are made of. If you're ready for welcoming and comfortable accommodations and cuisine that will create lasting memories, Well then you need to make your way to the hideout for an experience you will never forget. It's simply an adventure and experience like no other. We guarantee you'll create lifelong memories that you will cherish forever. We'll see you at the hideout.
Welcome to the Triangle X Ranch. The Triangle X operates as a work and dude ranch and as an authorized concession of the Grand Teton National Park. The last dude ranch concession within the nation's entire national park system. Set in the shadows of the Grand Tetons, their location in the stunning Jackson Hole Valley makes the Triangle X Ranch the ideal dude ranch vacation destination. In 2016, the ranch celebrated its 90th year of offering guests a glimpse of the rugged west, unparalleled natural beauty and warm, welcoming hospitality. For over nine decades, guests have come here again and again from all over the world to share in simple pleasures and connect with unspoiled nature. Since 1926, five generations of the Turner family have welcomed guests to their home in the Grand Teton National Park. Operating as an authentic and traditional dude ranch, they've stayed true to the term. The atmosphere is casual and welcoming, and everyone who arrives as a guest leaves as part of the Triangle X family and its long, proud history. Pets, horses, and hospitality. It's why people keep returning year after year. A small museum on the ranch chronicles nearly a century of the Turner family's stewardship and what each generation brought to the ranch. During your week at the ranch, one of the highlights is a member of the Turner family sharing with guests the history of the ranch and their family, beginning with their ancestors discovering the unspoiled beauty of the Jackson Hole Valley. Well, what actually happened was is that he came up here to buy land, and he spent two or three weeks looking for land, and he couldn't find anything uh, to buy. And so finally he says it found a little place, a little farm or ranch out on the, what is now the Elk Refuge out of town and he decided he'd buy that and you know start there and go somewhere else later but anyway he was he had met the banker on one of his trips before and so he was in the bank setting up you know accounts and you know put some money in escrow for this place and, and the old banker uh and everybody called him dad turner and uh, and I, evidently, Granddad expressed that he wasn't in love with this piece of property, but, you know, this was going to be a start. And, and the banker said, well, you know, John, he said, uh, Bill Jump, who had the homestead right here, is in the hospital. He got in a terrible horse accident. He got all busted up, and he's in the hospital. And he's going to have to sell the homestead to pay his hospital bills. And so Granddad went over to the hospital, which I'm sure was one room in <laughs> those days. And he, he, they knew each other. Bill, he said, uh, I heard a rumor that uh, the place is for sale. He looked up at Granddad from his hospital bed and he said, yeah, Dad. He said, he said I've got to sell it. He said, I don't have any money to pay for these hospital bills. Granddad said, well, I'm interested. He said, uh, how much do you want for it? And I think it was about 180, 190 acres. And Bill shook his head and he said, No, well, Dad, he said, I'm going to have to have $500 for it. And uh, Granddad kind of looked at him, evidently. He said, Well, I'll tell you what, Bill. He said, I won't give you $500 for it. He said, Well, I'll give you 1000 because that's what it's worth. So that was how he bought the Triangle X Ranch. The accommodations at the ranch are simple, comfortable, and appropriately rustic. Preserving their historic character, 
They have 20 guest cabins ranging from one to four bedrooms with all the needed modern amenities. Each cabin has a breathtaking view of the Grand Tetons, which never seem to look the same twice as the sun arcs over the mountains for incredibly beautiful mornings and gorgeous sunsets to close out the day. Imagine each morning sitting on your cabin porch with a cup of hot coffee and taken in all this natural beauty. There is simply no place like it. Watching the horses come in each morning in the crisp morning air is a favorite activity of the guests. And as many mornings as you might watch the horses come in, it never gets old. Perhaps the best thing about the ranch is there is something for every member of the family and you can do as much or as little as you would like. With adults, kids and teenage programs available, there is something for every member of the family. If you came for the horseback riding, the Wranglers will match you up with a horse well suited to your riding ability. Whether it's been a while since you've been on a horse or you're an experienced rider. They know a good match will make your trail riding all the more enjoyable. The advantage and benefits of the Gypsy MVP Concierge Program are clear. For their clients, they have access to the most comprehensive array of resources available nationally and globally to ensure the perfect find and fit. The Concierge Advantage of Gypsy MVP will find you your forever horse. If you're ready for the magical horse of your dreams, let the journey begin. Well, first of all, we take huge pride in our riding program. We can accommodate anybody from, you haven't ridden in 30 years, you've never been on a horse before, small child, we do five-year-olds, we have teen rides and, you know, we've taken you know, grandparents out with their third generation, great grandparents. Um, we are a very educated group of wranglers. We take, you know, huge pride in our lesson ride, um, especially for the inexperienced or somebody who hasn't ridden all year. A lot of folks that come out here have never, this is the only time they've ever gotten on a horse. Um, so we have a lot of different ab ability levels. We also do all day rides where we'll actually trailer off the ranch and get you to experience things that you generally wouldn't be able to. Beautiful, beautiful country. The ranch offers a well-maintained trail system and the pace is relaxed, so you can soak in the scenery and take pictures of the natural beauty that completely surrounds you. Whether you're on an all-day ride or a shorter ride, 
you'll see and be surrounded by abundant wildlife throughout the park. Their horses are well-trained, strong, and mountain-wise. And you'll explore areas seldom visited, viewing wildlife and viewing snow-capped vistas that will make forever memories of the Triangle X Ranch. For a different pace of exploring this natural wonderland, you'll want to take a float trip down the Snake River, where you move leisurely at the pace of the river. A couple things I want you to keep in mind. Uh, first thing, if you fall out of this raft, likely you'll be right next to us. First thing I want you to do is reach over here, grab any of the ropes or straps along the sides of the boat. So we're about 60 or so miles from the headwater. Gliding silently under the watchful eyes of bald eagles in the trees. Um, anyone been to Jenny Lake on this trip so far? Yeah. Or perhaps deer and antelope on the shoreline watching you drift by, all under the shadows of the Grand Tetons. The meals at the ranch are hearty and sumptuous, and they cater to a variety of individual tastes and diets. The breakfast and dinner cookouts are always a favorite. You'll ride the horses to the cookout site for some incredible meals. After dinner, they'll heat up the Triangle X Brandon iron and brand your boots, your belt, your hat, or make a coaster for you so everyone will know you ride for the brand. After riding back to the ranch, you can enjoy square dancing and learn the do -si do with your friends and family. What a great way to end the day. If you're a fishing enthusiast, the Yellowstone and Teton Wilderness area will reward you with some of the finest cutthroat trout fishing in America. Secluded clear blue lakes and beautiful mountain streams await the angler of all skill levels. But what is it about the Triangle X that keeps guests coming back time and time again? Guests share their thoughts on why the ranch is a special destination and what's special to them on a personal level. I think the, the reason that we come back every year is because we have a history here, um, family history. My grandmother brought my cousins and, and me individually when we were 16. 
I came back and worked here because I couldn't get it. Uh, all I could think about was this ranch um, as I went through college, but didn't have the means to do it until I graduated and, and called the branch and said, can I come out here and work? Uh, we then wanted, I met my husband. He loved it as much as I did. We wanted our kids to enjoy it, so we brought them out. They worked here. And as we drive west every year, which we do, um, I drive past other ranches, but there's something about, it's a magnet. It draws me back every year. But it's the sense of family, not just with the Turner family, but with the other returning guests, many of whom come back year after year after year. So we come back waiting to meet family that we haven't seen all year and we see here at the ring. That we get to wake up each morning and come out and have a cup of coffee and, and look onto the Teton Mountains in the valley. And, uh, we have thousands of photographs of, of the mountains. Uh, my joke is, honey, don't we have enough? But, but, uh, the answer is always no, you know. I always say it's my opportunity to be Annie Oakley <laughs> for one week out of the year. <laughs> well, what's special about Dude Ranch vacations, I think, is that it's usually a family affair and you can bring your small children and, and not have any worries about where they are or what they're doing and to just turn them loose. And they get a chance to be around horses. Uh, many of many of these are city children, and they don't, they never have horses around them. Here, they've got horses, and they have horses a couple of times each day, and they get a chance to see them run out in the evening, and it's and, and it's really neat because the horses are, are just, just become their friends, and it's just wonderful to see the association they've got with a horse, and you just don't find that in a city. You really don't. What's really special about the Triangle X is that they make it a vacation. For everybody in the family. You also you also have your choice. If you want to ride, fine. If you want to ride and you take lesson rides, you could do a slow ride, you can do a medium or a fast ride, anything that you feel comfortable about doing. Or if you'd like to sit down on your porch and have the most beautiful quiet day with the birds and reading, that's yours too. It's your vacation. What's special about the Triangle X I think is, is what Fred calls camp for big kids. And you know you you get to come out here and just play, <laughs> no worries, um, no telephone. Well, you have your telephone, your cell phone, but you know mine's turned off. <laughs> Harold talks about why dude ranching is both a lifestyle and a passion within the family. Dude ranching is a way of life. It's certainly not for everybody, and people always say, well. Couldn't you make money, more money someplace else? And of course, I think anybody that is a dude ranger, a successful dude rancher, could make more money doing something else. But would they enjoy it? Would they enjoy what they were doing? Would they ever have the opportunity to meet the very kinds of people that we meet from all over the world, all walks of life? And get to know them as friends and see them throughout the year uh, and you know you're dealing with it you're you're a very important part of their life because they wouldn't come to a dude ranch if, if it didn't fulfill some need that they have whether it be nature out of doors getting away from everything or something that is new to them that they have never done before having been raised on a dude ranch, there's probably no better occupation in the world that I could do to pass something on to my children. Uh, they learn responsibility very early, they learn about themselves very early, and where else can they associate with the times, types of people that we associate with? So I feel very, very uh, honored and uh, privileged to have done what I've done and seen what I've seen and uh, watched the country change from the uh, horse and buggy stage, which I was born into, to the technology stage we have now. And I just hope that uh, the future generations of my family continue on in the business. Horse Flicks explores the world of horses like no other TV series before. 
capturing both the majesty of these creatures and their mystique through compelling and captivating programming. Understanding how horses have impacted people's lives and lifestyles. Want to see your horses on TV? Call us today to discuss and we'll show you how to promote your breed or equine related business to a mass TV audience. If you'd like to explore this area as a winter getaway, Triangle X offers secluded, quiet and comfortable lodging and cozy cabins highlighted with four-star dining. The ranch offers unsurpassed cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, photography, and wildlife viewing right out your front door. After a full day, return to the comfortable lodge and relax western style with a warm fire and a large outdoor jacuzzi. Does it get any better than this? And if you'd like to see more of the Wyoming backcountry, the Triangle X offers pack trips into America's premier wilderness area, where you can explore over 6,000 square miles of one of the richest wildlife complexes anywhere in the world. This is Continental Divide country and contains the headwaters of the Snake, Yellowstone, Colorado and Shoshone Rivers. It is a land filled with amazing natural beauty, history, and heritage. A Triangle X Ranch pack trip into this beautiful region offers you one of the most exciting and rewarding vacations of a lifetime. These wilderness pack trips are typically four to seven days and are ideal for the entire family and a great opportunity to reconnect with nature and the surrounding wilderness. Where else can you sleep out under a canopy of a billion stars, surrounded by unparalleled natural beauty? Does it get any better than this? If you're ready for a life-changing experience in one of the most beautiful locations in North America, if you're ready to break away from your digital lifestyle and reconnect with friends, family, wildlife, horses, and incredible natural beauty, if you're ready for the Dude Ranch vacation of a lifetime, well then, make your way to Jackson Hole for an experience like no other. We'll see you at the corral. Hey kids, what's the best dude ranch in North America? from the stress of daily life? Traffic jams, never-ending meetings, and busy schedules? Well then, partner, gather up your family, friends, and loved ones, and head to Colorado for the most spectacular and relaxing vacation you will ever find. Where you'll reconnect with simple pleasures and values and what's truly important in life, family, friends, nature, horses, and so much more. And it's all found at a little piece of heaven in Colorado called Lost Valley Ranch.
Located about 90 minutes from Colorado Springs or Denver, this remote and peaceful ranch will take you back to a simpler time where you can share the inner peace and tranquility found there with unforgettable experiences you'll share with family and friends and leave behind the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Welcome to Lost Valley Ranch. Lost Valley Ranch is surrounded by and has access to 40,000 acres of picturesque and pristine mountains, some of the finest scenery found anywhere in Colorado. The riding trails you'll explore were often used by the early settlers, miners, trappers, and the wild creatures that inhabit the surrounding forests. When you arrive at Lost Valley Ranch, you'll be greeted like family in a warm and welcoming environment where genuine hospitality is the hallmark of the ranch. In the lobby, you'll see photos of all the families who have come to this special place for the week. Why, even the person who may be considered to have invented family entertainment, Walt Disney and his wife Lillian have been guests of the ranch. When you arrive at your cabin, you'll want to immediately kick off your boots and relax on a porch swing. Perhaps enjoy a cup of hot coffee on the porch or take in the natural smell of the surrounding pine trees or a wisp of wood smoke from someone's fireplace in their cabin. Surrounded and enveloped by all that nature has to offer, feeling of inner peace and relaxation that brought you here. Just one look around at the accommodations and you'll understand why Lost Valley Ranch has earned its coveted Four Diamond AAA rating for nearly 40 years. It's not hard to understand why. Just take some genuine hospitality, combined with comfortable accommodations, add in unlimited activities to fill your entire week, surround it all with incredible scenery, and you have the perfect recipe for the perfect vacation or getaway. Two words you will never hear at Lost Valley Ranch are on board. For Lost Valley Ranch has activities each day and throughout the week that you can enjoy individually or with the entire family. Let's start by moseying over to the corral. With over 120 horses available, they'll match you up with one well suited to your riding abilities. So whether you're a novice or you've spent a lot of time in the saddle, they'll have a horse you can enjoy all week long on the miles of trails around the ranch. The Wranglers will help you get fitted to both a saddle and a horse for the entire week and provide instruction on how to ride and control your horse. For they know, if you and your horse are a good fit, you'll enjoy the trail riding all that much more.
But before you go riding, you might want to drop into the Goose Creek Trading Post, where they have a great selection of cowboy hats, gloves, chinks, and clothing accessories. Gotta look good on the trail, you know. And after picking up your western look for the week, check out The Fountain, an ice cream soda fountain that will take you back in time. You and your kids will both enjoy this special watering hole. Mmm, mmm, I have got to try the Cookie Monster Shake. Between all the trail rides you can explore, there are plenty more activities you can participate in, like trap shooting. With expert safety instruction, you'll soon be knocking the clay pigeons out of the sky. Or lounge around the swimming pool and practice your diving skills. <laughs> Want to leisurely float down Goose Creek? Then grab an inner tube and head downstream. All of this is likely to work up a huge cowboy appetite, and the food experience at Lost Valley Ranch is equally special. Every meal at Lost Valley is special, and you'll marvel at some of the dishes the chefs prepare for dinners. Some meals are served outside with the backdrop of the surrounding mountains. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the kids are really going to enjoy the ice cream desserts. I wouldn't say no. How does it get any better than this? Howdy, partner! <laughs> uh, my name is Sarah Bell. <laughs> Every dude ranch has its own unique personality. Manager Tony Warnock talks about what's special about a dude ranch vacation and how it's something you have to experience to understand how special it can be. The question gets asked to me all the time, um, why go to a guest ranch or why a dude ranch when there's a lot of options on the table? And this is typically people who, who've never been to one. Once you, I think once you visit a, a, a ranch, that question answers itself for the most part. When I am visiting with people for the first time who have uh, never been to a ranch before, and um, every ranch has its own distinct personality, and I think it's important that um, we refer people to other ranches because where there are certain things that Lost Valley does well and it's our personality uh, we're really focused on having families in the dining room being together a lot of structure for families and kids some ranches that's that's not what they choose to do it's not their best and there's a lot of guests who who are looking for those opportunities and experiences, and we wanna make sure they find those ranches. And at the end of the day, I think there's a ranch for every personality. Um, whether it's a ranch that has a golf course, or a ranch that has some um, alpine skiing or Nordic skiing in the wintertime, um, ranches that predominantly fish, ranches that have a, a cattle operation that the guests are involved in on a daily basis. 
um, or a ranch like us that, you know what, we have cattle, we have fishing, um, we have horses, but it's really built around those experiences for our families to be engaged in something new uh, that they can take home as a memory. But ranch culture is, um, is unique and I think is it, as technology continues to increase and the business of our lives continue to drive us, a ranch provides a very tactile, um, simplified existence that still resonates in the heart of people. And not just in the experiences that you have relationally, but there is a part of stopping, absorbing the world around you, the quietness of a morning, going out for a ride to eat breakfast, going up on top of a rock at daybreak. You don't recreate that in your normal existence back home for the majority of our guests. And so when people are considering a ranch vacation, the unique aspects of it, listen, there is nothing wrong with going on a cruise ship, going up the coast of Alaska, going um, in the Mediterranean, in the Gulf of Mexico. But it, it's a different experience being on a boat with 5,000 people versus coming to a ranch that may have 20 guests or 40 guests, or for us, it's maybe 80 guests. There's a sense of intimacy and stillness in that experience that is very difficult to replicate. And there's something about the iconic nature of um, the West and the cowboy that still exists. Um, where a, a person can connect to something that in some ways seems bigger than life. Um, the world around us and, and the bigness of being in the mountains and the vast aspect of wide open space, um, that resonates with people emotionally. At the end of the day, this is an experiential industry. And to create, and you know what, it's, it's just virtually impossible to bottle up an experience and then sell it. Otherwise, we'd all be doing it. And um, our best advocates are still our guests. It's been that way for 100 years. Ready to square dance? Not to worry. They'll teach you the steps you need to know to kick up your heels and do -si do the night away. So if you need a partner, put up your hand and we'll find somebody to dance with you. Ask you, doesn't this look like fun? <laughs> now, what could be better than starting your day with breakfast outdoors? The jail is a short ride by wagon, or you can ride the horses down for this special morning event and hearty Creekside breakfast. Fresh cooked eggs, biscuits, and rolls always taste better when surrounded by friends and great scenery. The jail is also the location for a jail dinner during the week.
After dinner, the guests are entertained by the talented staff, which performs skits and songs to the delight of the guests. Valley Ranch. Lost Valley is a place where you can come and completely relax, make new friends, find your peace, find happiness again. As a family, as an individual, the staff here is amazing and the horses are even better. It's great riding and great people. That's why I love Lost Valley. <laughs> Lost Valley feels more like family than it does a guest ranch. That's what I think is special about it. Special about Lost Valley Ranch? People like this guy right there. And this guy right there. Our corner. <laughs> it's actually the staff. And me. And sharing it with my granddaughter this week. Normally I'd, normally I'd be here with just a cattle week or a horsemanship week, but this is her week, so we're doing whatever she wants to do. The staff sure make it uh, pleasurable and fun. I mean, you can't do anything without a staff around asking if they can help you. Towards the end of the week, guests get to show how much they've learned and improved their riding skills in the guest rodeo. Broken into age groups, riders compete in various timed events to claim the all-important bragging rights until they return the next year to compete again and defend their titles. Good. It's not quite Broadway, but during the week after dinner, guests can make their way to the Hayloft Opera House for the weekly melodrama put on by the talented staff. The belly laughs are plentiful as everyone, guests and staff, enjoy this weekly performance that you're sure to tell all your friends about. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Let's all go get some ice cream. Now we know you'll want everyone to know you were at Lost Valley Ranch, and guests are invited to design their own personal family brand and have it permanently branded into the walls or ceiling of the dining hall. Thousands of personalized brands left by the guests are a testament to how much people enjoy Lost Valley Ranch. Each time a guest returns, they place a check mark by their brand, noting their repeat visit to the ranch. And at this rate, they're going to need a bigger haul. And everyone enjoys the weekly wrap-up with the awards program where guests for the week are acknowledged for their accomplishments and some dubious distinctions. If you're ready to experience a genuine Western Dude Ranch with a four-star AAA rating, 
If you're ready to leave the hustle and bustle of the world behind and enjoy the peace and tranquility to be found in the mountains of Colorado, if you're ready to share a lifetime of memories and experiences with family and friends, well, make your way to Lost Valley Ranch for an experience you will never forget. Lost Valley Ranch, unforgettable family vacations. Hey partners, what's the best dude ranch in North America? 